I'm Scooter. Welcome back to my place. In today's video, I'm going to be coding a sphere of bolt to go through an obstacle course. So let's jump right in. Okay, guys, let me show you what the obstacle course is going to be like. So the sphere starts right here on this piece of tape, goes through the bridge, knocks over this tower, knocks over the dominoes, and goes completely straight, just like that, up on the ramp, and then knocks over the biggest tower. So the reason why we're making it up high like this and building the tower above so that the sphere can kind of go under is because if we just built it on the ground, then the sphere would hit the bottom of it and the blocks wouldn't be able to let the sphere go through. But since it's higher, the sphere can still go through but barely hit the top of it just enough to knock it over to where the sphere can still get by, but it can still knock everything over. How many seconds? It went Perfect. Past. It worked. It went past. Yeah. So what block coding is, it's basically just this program that has these different blocks in it. And you drag them. So like this one is roll zero degrees. You can see, change the angle. So let's say I just want to go forward at 192 speed for six seconds. Just like that. And then this is what's going to happen. Here we go. Crap, I didn't aim it. Gotta aim it. See this little thing? Go to a setting to aim it so that your code goes actual, like the real directions, the actual directions. So, in fact, how about I go two seconds? Start. See? Went completely forward for two seconds. But since that was really fast, on the obstacle course, we're gonna have to slow it down. Spin, to make the robot spin. Like you can make it spin however you want, you can make it spin 90 degrees. I'm just gonna make it spin um, 90 degrees up on that angle. So first off, I'm gonna put it right here on this piece of tape. Aim it to where this blue line is facing me. So the front goes like that. So I'm just gonna roll Zero degrees at 89 speed. 89 speed. For one second. Just like that. So roll. Zero degrees at 89 speed for one second. So that's going to go like that. Okay, let's test that out. Start. No, not enough. So that means we have to do it more. How about 1.2 seconds? It's a little faster not too fast so okay, the aim is correct boom mm, okay let's try that wow okay so now since we got that right there perfectly straight now we're just going to make it spin so we want it to spin 90 degrees so what we're going to do we got the spin code we're just going to Put that 90 degrees for just one second. It only takes one second for it to spin. So, so for example, this is what it's going to look like when it spins. See, it's going to spin 90 degrees. Perfect. Roll 90 degrees at hmm, what speed? We did 89 on that. I'll go 83 for. 0 0.8 seconds. Okay, let's try this out. Remember, gotta re-aim it. Gotta re-aim the robot. Okay, start. Oop. Oh, that's too far. How about 0 0.6? So that means just right, okay. Mm hmm? Oh, that works. Spin one, three, five, for one second. So, it's perfect. Spins just right. Okay, so now, 
since we got it spinning that way, now we're just gonna roll 135 degrees at, I'll go 89 again, speed four. So we did that on 89 for one second and then that's a little shorter, so 0 0.9 seconds, 0 0.9. Okay, that's perfect. Got that, okay. Let's test this out again. Not quite, not quite, not quite, because we have to make it knock down that tower. One second. It's going to go, let me see how many degrees that is. 225. 225 degrees. So. And that's 225 degrees from where it's calibrated? Yes, from where, yeah, from where it's calibrated, from where it starts. Okay. So. Spin. 225, 225, one second, and roll, 225, let me see, that would be 89, I'm going 89, at four, hmm. so that was for one second, that was for one second, I'm going, I'm going 1.1, okay. 1.1, okay, here we go. Whew, I hope this works. Oh, 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 oh! No! Oh no, oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> oh no. Mm, it's working, it's working, oh, oh, oh! What? <laughs> wow. So maybe I should do like three seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So I'll go. Mm -hmm. Did I touch it? No. Oh no. No more kinks. I don't want no more kinks. Dang, yep, not far enough. It looks fine to me. Oh, oh, snap. That oh, would hit, that, that would hit it. That would hit it. That's perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Hey, look. But if what? Unfortunately, we can't get it to be accurate, so um, either it is the carpet or it's bugs in the app, but we went ahead and took away that tower so it would be easier for us to do it, so. And then we put this little thing here to stop it. That would have hit it. Would have gone there. Would have gone there. <laughs> oh, you think it would have worked? Maybe. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna test this out. Three, two, one, go. Nope. 
Man. Start it over. Okay, so basically what I'm doing now is um, I'm doing the exact same code. See, I'm doing the exact same code. I'm building the same code over again, the exact same, but instead of spin, I'm doing heading. So that instead of this, look, instead of it doing this, go, spin, go, it's gonna do this. So, so it keeps going and it doesn't stop to spin. It turns as it's going. So here's the first part. I got the first part and this is actually probably easier. Ooh, nice. now I got that part. Then it just needs to go. Okay. Bam. See? Hmm. It works so much better. And then, so I could stop it right here so it could start spinning. And then it could just go here. Ooh, right. but I don't know how it's going to do on the domino. Wait, what, it, it can go like see? this, hit the dominoes, and then just. All right. Oh, why does it hit there? Nope, can't do that. <laughs> Dang. Okay. okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to affect how... Oh, I made that go further. Heck no. Nope. <gasps> what? I changed it a millisecond. And then I do point one, and then look what it does. Oh, Wait, that's good. And that was good. That's good. It would have hit them. It would have hit them. It would have hit them. It so would have hit them. It so would have hit them. Nope. On. Okay, we'll do a test because um, what I did is since I did the heading to where instead of it just turning, um, what I did at the end over here, I made it spin. So at the end, I wanted to. I still wanted it to be accurate, so I just made it to where it spins at the end. I just changed it up a little bit, but let's see. That would hit him, but it wouldn't have gone up. No, that's okay. Mm, I, I just so need to adjust this. Okay, so so that's zero degrees. So me and my dad made it to where, so there's two areas right here, two little, th see, so there's a crack right there. And instead of making, making the tower on just like one part, one wall, we made it to where that is on this one, and then that is right on the edge of that. So when the sphere of bolt comes, it's going to hit the top of that and then push that one down in the crack. Mm. So since that one is missing, it's going to make the whole entire tower fall over. Okay guys, so basically now I'm just gonna show you my screen on here. I'm gonna show you um, what the code looks like drawn out. So, um, I mean, not the code, but where the robot is going and what the robot looks like, like as a drawing. Here, I'll just, here we go, just like that. See, the, l the little map, the little line moving, that's where the robot is. That's where the robot's going. See, all the way up there, up the ramp. And then that's when it crashed into the big tower. So that's what it looks like drawn out. So it's been a long and frustrating day troubleshooting, but eventually we got it and we succeeded. So it's been a lot of fun playing with this Sphero Bolt and maybe in one of my future videos, I'll explain the mechanics of how a Sphero Bolt works. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.